Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel on this beautiful sunny morning. Now for this week's project, we're taking the solar array that you see behind me, we're putting it up on a platform with a great big bearing in the middle so that the whole array can rotate to follow the sun. And eventually we'll have it motorized then as well so the whole system can be automated. Let's get into the project and hopefully by the end of this, you'll have some idea of how you can build one of these systems yourself, regardless of how many panels you've got. So to start off I needed to make a frame for the bearing to sit on, so I did this using 4 inch by 2 inch timber, assembled together into a 1 meter by 1.2 meter square frame, I then cut sewer pipe to go over the legs for concrete to go into, and then added steel bar for extra supports. With the grass cut out, I could then mark out where to dig. Once I had it dug out, then I could sit the frame down into the hillside and get it leveled. I finally then cut some steel rails for the bearing to mount onto. And hold it nice and steady on the frame. Alright, well we started the important bit now. This is quite literally what the whole project hinges on, if you'll excuse the saying. This is the bearing that the rack, the entire array, is going to sit onto. It came from uh, our Subaru and um, it was worn out in the car but it was just a little bit noisy it's not actually got any play in it or anything like that so it still turns reasonably well so next part now is to make two more rails to bolt onto here and onto the underside of the solar array and then we can fit the whole lot together I added more rails to the bottom and painted the frame before sitting the bearing into place I then made another set for the array to sit on and bolted it all together with heavy duty bolts Okay, for the drive system to actually make this rack turn, what I've done is I've robbed some bits from some broken old kids' toys which we had, two little old go-karts here, and I've taken the back axle out of one of them, which had a tiny little sprocket on it, and I've found a slightly bigger sprocket, so I've just welded it on top of the other one, just to sit it in place. And this is our bearing here, so the bearing is gonna basically sit on like that, and a little rubber grommet on the top to centralize the whole thing and then a, a nut and a larger washer then go over it and squeeze it all together and we want to make sure we have a larger sprocket on the axle and a small sprocket on what we're driving it with in this case we're going to use pedals again from the go-kart because it's got a nice little sprocket on it and that might be transferable over to a motor when i can get my hands on one so let's go ahead and fit this to the rack for the pedals I used a plank of pallet wood with a slot cut in it for the chain to go through and another plank then to stabilise the bottom of the axle before bolting it all together up through the middle. I could then fit the chain and give it a quick test. I also used a sheet of polycarbonate as a guide for the chain to stop it slipping down. And here comes the fun bit. Time to call in some help. Get all hands on deck. Mistakes could be expensive here. It went into place easier than expected, although we were a bit nervous with it up there. So we went ahead and bolted it into place anyway. We got it up and into place, so now the next step, let's test it out.
So there you go, a rotating solar array driven by some parts from some old kids toys. Now over the coming weeks, we're going to fit this with a motor and a daylight sensor so that it can track the sun accurately. But it just goes to show, you really can build anything you set your mind to. So that's it folks, please do remember to like and subscribe, and whatever project you're involved in, I hope it's a great success. And I'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care out there.